favorite scene so far my favorite my favorite scene so far was um, the first initial argument in the dining room that was my favorite scene what shots from yesterday are you excited to see on screen um probably again that first initial argument cause I just like the dynamic they had with each other during that scene and they were shot dope as hell, so I'm looking forward to seeing that on screen. So, like, as the director and the producer, and the writer, and the writer, <laughs> um, like, how do you mentally, you know, just prepare for your days? I don't. Yeah. I just jump right into it, because uh, I feel like if you think about something for too much or for too long, you start to hesitate a little bit. And I rather, I just like to jump straight into stuff. Okay, so how do you get through any obstacles that may occur on set? Um, for me personally, like I understand, like I'm the director or whatever, but I like to, I like to think of, I like to think of everybody on set as the director in their own kind of way, because I want everybody to have like their own freedom and choice and just a hand into the project themselves too. So even though I see action, I want everybody to have like a piece of themselves in the film. Okay, last question. <laughs> um, so like, how's the, how would you feel like the dynamic on set is? I feel like the dynamic on set is, <laughs> 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 no, this drone is perfect though. Um, I feel like we all mesh together well. We all get along. The vibes is nice. Um, and yeah, I feel like this is like the greatest set in the world. So shooting has finally wrapped. How yep. do you feel about everything? I feel amazing. I'm honestly so excited to see this movie laid out and premiere and get to work on it, on the editing, and see it when it's done. Um, what was your favorite movie? Honestly, everything in between the shots was great. Everybody got along really well. But in terms of actual like shooting, my favorite scene. See, for me, I really love the bathroom scene because I got like pretty much full control of directing it. So it was a really cool experience for me. So, right, so being as though, is this, was that your first time ever directing a scene? Oh yeah, for sure. What's the scene or shot that you're most looking forward to seeing? Definitely the wine bottle scene. That whole like one shot, that was crazy. I'm excited to see that. What do you want people to take away from this film? Hmm. Oh, uh, I think I want people to take away that just to fix your problems with your relationship, you don't always need to go to the extremes that William and Monica go to to solve their problems. And that this should be Notice it as an extreme. I think that's the biggest thing. Like this isn't normal. The lens set William goes. What kind of films do you want to direct? That's a tough one. Honestly, at the beginning, all sorts. I still feel like I haven't exactly found out where I want to go particularly. So I want to get as much experience in as many different types of film as possible while I'm still in college and while I'm still young. So that way. When I'm older, I know where I want to go. What shot or scene do you think will capture the audience's attention the most? 
honestly, it, it goes back to the wine bottle scene for me because even though it was my favorite, I also feel like that's where the tension kind of really builds up into the final very ending scene. I feel like that's what'll bring the audience in and set them up for the final scene. Is there anything that you would want, that you would do differently? Honestly, no, Every, everything went really well. Like between the, the crew and the cast, everybody got along really well. I Everything I think looked great, like all the shots and everything and the acting was incredible. So yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think there's anything I would change. Any last thoughts? Uh, thanks to everybody. Everybody was super nice and amazing at their jobs and I'm just excited to see it when it's done. What shots from yesterday are you excited to see on screen? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I liked everything that I saw yesterday. Like, like everything, like from the start, we ain't even like finished, but it's like everything that was shot yesterday, I thought it was like really, really good. I felt like they did such a great job. So I don't really have like a specific one. So I feel like that should be a compliment. Do you have any good love rituals? I mean, like, yes and no, you know? Like, I, I just, I be chilling, looking at the trees. That's pretty about it. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get through any obstacles that may occur on the set? Um, mm, that's a good question. Being that I don't usually expect obstacles, to be on set, I would say if one was to occur. So like, you know, I think one of the staff members already said, teamwork makes the dream work. So we all just gotta, you know, depend on each other, rely on each other, and like everything will get resolved. What's your name and role, sir? All right, uh, my name is Judah D. Thornton, and I'm the cinematographer. What does the D stand for? Dominique. What did you do this moment to get Um, actually, I kind of didn't do anything because I was caught dealing with another situation, so I kind of just like jumped into it and just decided like, this is what I need to do today. This is my priority, so I have to be present in here. Um, so this is your debut. Yeah. I feel good. I mean, the the last film that we did went great. It was fun. Um, different people, different crew, but I mean, I still I feel the same vibes like from the last crew. So I mean, I'm excited. But this uh, one is better. I can't give a judgment. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give a full judgment yet, but I feel good about everybody that's here. So I'm excited about it. <laughs> How do you prepare for the day? Um, I'm usually like getting gathering all my equipment together like I, I try to get up earlier so i can make sure all my batteries is charged i got all my adapters basically just make sure everything is organized like i like to take at least like an hour and a half to do that and get everything just ready to just go right out the door so that's what i usually spend my morning doing on a shooting day how do you feel about the story okay i really like the story i think that the, the relationship is interesting and it's a very intense relationship and i think that uh, a lot of people could draw some type of like connection from it, you know, not maybe not as drastic as their relationship is, but they can connect to some type of emotion each character might feel. How do you get to any obstacles that may occur on set? I rely on people around, you know, I think that everybody here is just as brilliant as the next. So I think it's important to rely on the people on set, you know, it's a team. So. What scene are you looking forward to shooting today? I'm looking forward to shooting the very last scene. I don't want to say what, what it, should I say what it entails or? Okay, yeah, the last scene uh, where someone ends up being killed, I think that's going to be fun to shoot because I've never done anything like that before. So that'll be interesting. What's your name and role? Uh, my name is, uh, people call me Louis Tron. I am, uh, play Marcus in the movie, uh, and I'm also the second uh, assistant director on set. So this is your first day on set for production. How do you feel about going through 
I'm actually uh, very excited. Uh, Dave uh, posted uh, filming or whatever, and I'm like, "Yo, bro, I'm trying to get on the set." It's funny. I was at I was at work too, and I kind of wanted to come like last night, but uh, I had to do something. But um, yeah, I'm excited, man. Uh, to work with y'all and continue working with y'all. More stuff after this. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm hyped. What do you do like outside of this production? Uh, well, I'm also a filmmaker and I, I make cartoons uh, for a living. That's how I make money. I make cart make make comic books and sell them. So in stores, Amazon, stuff of that nature. Uh, I've been f doing film for six years now. Six years, eight productions. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't have gray hair. Uh, but it's with kids, so I work. I, I do primarily kids movies, so I work with kids, and it's a little less stressful to work with adults. Honestly, no offense. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> no offense, to nobody else. But yeah. Uh, do you have anything you're working on now? Yes, uh, we're working on uh, the second season of my sketch comedy show, The Lewis Tron Show. So we're in production of that. I'm actually, after this, I'm gonna go shoot that for the rest of the weekend. So, yeah, that should be exciting. I'm ex I'm kinda excited, not really, kinda. It's, they forced me to do this. My producers forced me to do this. I have no money in this. So everybody has money in this, it's forcing me to do it. So we're gonna do it though. How did you get into filmmaking? Uh, well, um, I got into filmmaking when I was eight. I saw a uh, Toy Story and Toy Story actually made me want to make movies because it was like so entertaining to me. Um, so I wanted to entertain people just as much as Toy Story entertained me. And for a long time, like, you know, I grew up in North Philly, so my mom may have like the resources to put me in certain uh, programs and stuff. So for years until I got to college, I was able to start actually making films and stuff like that. But like growing up, I used to like, make fake posters and like put together little movies, but I would just write them in my notebook, stuff like that for a long time. But uh, 2015, when I started going to college real late, um, I started making movies. I got with some people out in Chester, PA, and we started making movies from there. And to the grace of God, here I am with you guys. All right, shooting is officially rep. Good. Amazing, man. This this is uh this has been a great set, man. This has been a great shoot, and um, I'm thankful to be a part of it. Yeah, I think I'm still coming down a little off of that last scene. Uh, so much adrenaline, you know. <laughs> still a little shaking, but I mean, this was probably uh, one of my favorite characters that I've played so far, and. Uh, I'm just really, also just really happy to have been a part of it. I can agree with that too. Probably one of my favorite characters. Yeah, it was a challenge, like, like we were talking about, you know, before, it was an acting challenge. Yeah. And like, challenges, like, I, I, they excite me. I'm excited by acting challenges, and I love characters that take me to a different place, that like give me the opportunity to delve deeper, you know? And Monica is definitely one of those people. No, definitely. <laughs> How did y'all feel about um, shooting today? Just like in general. The oh, the scenes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like these are the scenes we were talking about. We were waiting to get to, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we got to, them, and it was worth the hype. The the last scene definitely felt like you know like the coup de gras. Like that's that's something that you want to end with. Like that mm -hmm. that was wow, a real was yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so, what was your favorite moment on set? Like filming or just in general? Just in general. Oh, um, this little guy. <laughs> this little woman. I swear, everyone's gonna think you're in the film. You're the star. She's the real star. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite moment. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was just, you know, I might, I might be, uh, being redundant, but I was just happy to work with a crew as, you know, cohesive as this one, like. Mm -hmm. That, that don't happen often, you know what I mean? Like, it, it ain't, even if you are working with like people who, who've been working with each other for a long period of time, you know, it always seems to be like some tension on set. There was none of that there, it was yeah. a lot of free range, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of 
a lot of uh, trust. I, I noticed that from the jump, y'all. Y'all let us do basically what we wanted. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> yeah. nah, I appreciate that. Like, that was cool. And I gotta say, I'm extremely grateful for that too, because being able, like, as an actor, being able to play is probably one of the best gifts you can give an actor, okay. and the space to be able to be the character and live it. I love that. I, I yeah, I'm so grateful for that. What was the hardest moment for you on set? coming down um uh because you know things get real hot and heavy up in like a couple of scenes so uh it, it, it is kind of strange to say out loud but like that that really does kind of take a toll on you you know what mm -hmm. i mean it could be a little taxing emotionally mm -hmm. and, and uh, physically like mentally and physically a little bit it can it can, it can make you like you know it's hard to kind of just leave that alone, especially to go to such a high level of intensity, you know what I mean? Um, uh, so to kind of just keep in mind, like, and y'all y'all do a really good job of kind of reminding that as well, like kind of just keeping in mind, like, okay, yeah, everybody here, you know, is here for the same reason. I'm not actually at war with this girl or anything like that. We actually pretty cool. Um, and, you know, it was, it, it was definitely a challenge, but at the same time, like, it's part of the job. Like, yeah. that's how I go. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. I mean, yeah, it's part of the job. I, um, for me, I think the hardest moment for me, I, I, the, the connection to watching him shoot whoever I just slept with last night, that, <laughs> that was pretty, like, that connection. I think was probably the hardest moment on set for me because it's like well, once you go to a place like that it's really 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 hard to get out of that so it's even harder to let yourself go there sometimes so but it's all part of the job like you said how about that? what shot or scene in the film do you think is going to grab the audience for attention the wine bottle <laughs> the water, the water with the wine. Yeah. Because everything else, like, it's all, like, the audience is going to be there. But when you start watching. They're not going to see that coming. <laughs> that's that's, that's going to get them. They're going to be like, what? <laughs> yeah. What do you want people to get out of this I think the other day I was just talking to, uh, I'm in this class called Children of Divorce, and we just had this whole conversation about what expectations are around relationships, specifically for this generation of people, and how a lot of it is like based in social media, and it's about pictures, and all this different kind of other stuff, but I think for me... <laughs> If these two people, Monica and William, who have done probably the worst shit that you could probably imagine to each other in a relationship, there's all of this toxicity in both of them. And literally throughout this whole thing, they're going at it. They're trying to hurt each other. And usually, like, you know, people you think you're significant other, like, you, you don't want to hurt them, but they're literally trying to hurt each other. And I think the thing is, is like, if these two people, can like stick it out get back together blah 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 even though they shouldn't i think it's a good depiction that relationships aren't perfect and your significant other isn't perfect and we're all human and we all make mistakes now the size of those mistakes you know you get to pick and choose what you want to deal with you know but relationships aren't picture perfect you know they aren't these things that you can just post on instagram all the time and everything's gonna be happy go lucky like it takes work it takes time they've been together for 10 years you know like and they're still here so it takes time and it takes commitment and i think that's i think that's important i, I like that's what i'd want people to get out of it yeah and you know what to to kind of add to that when you think about like the type of status that William and Monica have, like we we are pretty well off, you know, yeah. like we're we're doing pretty good in life. So it would it would 
make sense if like people saw us and they're like, oh yeah, they're they're you know the best the best example of uh, of like you know healthy relationship right. in public. You know what I right. mean? But then we get back around and this happens. Shit, we're out here killing people. Man, <laughs> shit. Like, I came here with my gun ready. Right. Like, I, I had this in mind. And you're like this like well-known writer. Like, exactly. Author, you know? Like, <laughs> Savage. So like you never know what's going on behind closed doors. You know? <laughs> like, I think like that's the, like a big message for people is like you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. You mm. think the grass is greener on the other side? Well, Better enjoy what you got. Take care of your lungs. Right. Sure. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what does soul ties mean to you? Soul ties is a connection deeper than our own understanding. Mm-hmm. Um, if your souls are intertwined, they can't be without. There, there. I feel like everybody has this. There's a gravitas, you know, with some people. Like they just feel like, oh, I can't get away from this person. You know what I mean? It, it's, it, it's almost impossible to imagine life without this person. You know what I mean? Like we, we have soul ties to our parents. Like <laughs> if, if our, if um, you know, anything happens to your moms or anything like that, you know, especially y'all got a good relationship, you almost feel that yourself. It's almost like, ooh, wait a minute, where, where that, like, mm-hmm. where that come from? I don't know what's going on. You call your mother, you hear something happen. You're like, oh, that's what I was feeling earlier. Same thing with her. You know what I mean? Vice versa. And it's different when you go into like a romantic relationship because that's something that's kind of built. It's almost like, you know, people talk about soul mates, but when <laughs> you find your soul mates, soul ties, soul ties. I feel like ain't really something meant for you to find. It's something just that's gonna be there something that's gonna happen something you can't really deviate from right yeah i'm not sure you know how much i believe in like fate and destiny and all of those major universal concepts but when i think of the word soul ties like those words that's what i that's what i associate with it you know is like destiny and what it means to find Des- like what it is like what it is to find your destiny in another person you know like there like I feel like that end goal that life goal that we're like all trying to reach there's so many different pieces and parts to it and for a lot of people like that's another person so when I think of soul ties I think of like a person who is part of your eventual destiny you know that's deeper than we're at <laughs> 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 uh, Alright, uh, any last thoughts, comments, uh, anything to say, like shout outs, anything? Um, watch our film. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> um, coming to you. Coming soon to you. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my friends and my boyfriend who rode down with me. <laughs> they stay, they stay down all weekend long. <laughs> I came by myself, but you know, <laughs> still cool. Shout out to me. <laughs> you know what? Shout out to us. Yeah. yeah shout out to us for, you know, shout out to us for ourselves. Everybody, yeah, everybody yeah. on the set, get a shout everybody out. Everybody on the set. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And just thank you. Stressing about this movie for months. I feel like um, a big ass weight is just off my fucking chest now. Yeah. I just feel like the, the first film we did, it was our first film. So we went through like the first film, Jitters. Even though it was still a good film and it was alright, I just feel like. This film is definitely going to be like, oh, y'all niggas are some shit. So I feel super good about this. Yeah, my final thoughts for this film are, I'm proud of everybody that was a part of this production. Um, You guys really came through and made this whole thing possible.
cut. Yeah. Yeah, I would say.